We should talk about the two-string method. I like graphics, so I just shortcut it right to graphics. Um, maybe not the best move. Uh, so we just looked at constructors. And constructor, you're not going to see the word static. I stopped using static, and I didn't mention that I stopped using static. So it's a great time to talk about it. So what happened over here, there's nothing static at all. Why is that? Well, if you declare something static, what that means is it's attached to the class, not to the object or not to the instance of the class you're going to create. So when I made a new thing right here, there is a, a place in memory reserved for everything a thing has, so the x and the y value. And so these are not static anymore. They belong to this new thing. I can make lots of new things. So for example, I can make T2 and points maybe you do 30, uh, 250. Uh, and then of course I can draw T2.draw. All right, what you're also seeing right here, we have a, called our constructor up here, uh, and then we called our uh, methods down here, the draw method. What's the problem? Going on here, it looks like it should be fine. Oh, it's just a complaint, it's not an actual error. I saw that red. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, we got our new thing, we can draw our second point. There we go. Okay, so that's constructors right there. You generally, uh, there's another notation I don't want to forget to talk about. You can uh, use this. So there is an X and a Y that belong to the, they're not static, so they don't belong to the entire class. They belong to each thing you create. And another syntax you can use is this.x, which will always refer up to that X that's highlighted and this dot y, which will always refer to the y that was declared on line 18. What I can do now, you can reuse the letter x because when you declare right here int x, it does what's called shadowing. So if I, well, first of all, this line of code obviously looks useless, but x equals x, duh, but both of these X's refer to which X? The highlighting tells you right here. So because you more recently declared int X, it will cover up this X up here. The way that you can refer to the X up here is this dot X, which if you think about it, you're inside the thing code, so you have to think like a thing. And when it says this X, that's the object's X equals the other x, the one that was just given, and you can do the same thing with the y here. Now, that all being said, sometimes it's much smarter to stick with new x and new y. So you can leave it like this, that's just fine. So we talked about constructors, we made a value constructor which took in uh, two integer values and set some values up here. You can also make a constructor with no parameters. And what we will do, we should set this x equal to something. I'm just going to choose 0. This dot y equals 0. So this will create a new thing with the uh, x and y coordinates set to 0. This is just fine. You also could get a little bit crazy. You could call the other constructor from this constructor. All right, now you might be thinking, oh, what? Wouldn't it be thing? Uh, no, it actually goes uh, this. And I don't have a very good explanation as to why, but it just is. And this, with parentheses, will call the constructor on this object, which is the thing. So it's going to run down to here, and it's going to use 0, 0 for these two values. 
So either of these two options will, will have the exact same effect. There's uh, just a, a tiny bit less code here. Uh, now in the time example, they set uh, all the values to zero in the original, and they set in this one, uh, it's very similar to what we did, except we just had an X and a Y.